Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve uh, this multi-step equation. So what we're going to do, the reason why it's called a multi-step equation is, you know, we want to solve for a variable. So we need to isolate the variable to get it by itself. So what I notice right now is I have two variables and I can't solve for a variable when I have two of them. So I need some way to kind of simplify this equation before I can actually solve for x. So what I'm going to do is I need to look at, can I combine these variables at all? And since they're on the same side of the equation and they're both like terms, I can combine them. So I have negative three x minus six x. So therefore, I can simply just um, combine, since they have their like terms, I can just simply combine the coefficients. So negative three x minus six x, if let's say you owe three dollars and you borrow six more, you're now gonna owe nine dollars. So therefore, I can say negative nine equals negative nine x. Now what I need to do is I need to use my inverse operations to solve for x. So what I notice is my variable is being multiplied by negative 9. To, so to isolate the variable, to get it by itself, I have to undo what's happening to it. So therefore, since it's being multiplied by negative 9, I need to divide by negative 9 on both sides of the equation called a um, division property of equality. Now, negative 9 divided by 9 is going to divide into 1, and 1 times x is going to leave me with x. Negative 9 divided by 9 is going to leave me with 1. And then therefore, sometimes, a lot of times, we like to rewrite it so our variable is in front. So therefore, we can say x equals 1. And then we can always plug back our problem into the original equation to see if it's going to work. So negative 9 equals negative 3 times 1 minus 6 times 1. Well, negative 3 times 1 is going to equal negative 3. Negative 6 times 1 is a negative 6. Therefore, negative 9 equals negative 9. Since when plugging in my variable or plugging in the value of x at 1, it makes the equation true, I can confirm that this is the correct solution. There you go. Thanks for watching.